Hello, it's Dan from Side Hustlers Resource, and welcome to today's video. Now today I want to talk to you about paid surveys that actually pay in 2021. Now if you've tried out paid surveys in the past, you may have been frustrated by a couple of things. Maybe you started a survey and then 20 minutes in you were suddenly disqualified, so you never got your money. Maybe you signed up for a survey company and they sent you a few decent surveys, but then the opportunities dried up so you never made enough money to make the minimum payout. With the company I want to talk to you about today, you're not going to have to deal with these kinds of issues. First of all, with this company, there are little to no survey disqualifications. So if you start a survey, you'll know you'll be able to finish and that you'll eventually get your money. Secondly, they have a lot of surveys available on a regular basis and they do pay out decent rates. So you'll know you'll be able to make the minimum payout within a decent period of time. Also, this program is open to participants in 38 countries, so it's widely available. And they do pay out quite quickly with two payment dates a week. And you can even get instant payments after you've been with the company for a while. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to share with you some extra tips that will help you get the most amount of surveys possible so that you'll be able to make as much money with this opportunity as possible. But before we get into the main training, if you'd like more methods to make money online, I'd encourage you to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you'll know anytime I release new content for this channel. Okay, so the survey site we're going to be talking about today is called Prolific, and you'll find it over at prolific.co, which I'll have linked for you in the description box below this video. When you first get to the site, you're going to need to create an account to get started. So you'll head to this button here that says sign up to participate and click on it. Next, you're going to click on the take studies option. And then you'll be asked to fill in some personal details and also to check these two boxes that say that you agree to all of Prolific's terms and conditions. After you've done all that, go ahead and click on the sign up button. Then you'll need to head to your email inbox because Prolific is going to send you a message with a link inside of it that you'll need to click to further confirm your account. After you've confirmed your email, you can then head back over to the main Prolific website and come up to the top of the screen to click this login button. Then you'll be asked to enter in the email address and password that you just created for use with Prolific. And then you're going to be logged into your prolific account. Now, as you see, we're now inside my account. Now, there are a few additional things that you're going to need to do in order to get fully set up. So the first thing I want you to do is come over here to the upper right hand corner of your screen and click on this icon. Then you're going to select the account option and click on that. Now, I've blurred out a few uh, personal details on this page for privacy reasons. But the first thing that I want you to do is come down to this phone section and you're going to confirm your mobile phone number for Prolific. All you need to do to do this is just enter in your number and click a button and Prolific is going to send you a text message with a code in it and then you'll then enter this code on their website and that will confirm your phone number. Now the next thing that you'll need to do is to link your PayPal account to Prolific because that's how you're going to be paid for any survey earnings that you get on the platform via PayPal. So once you've linked your PayPal account, one of the last things that you'll need to do is uh, confirm your identity by sending Prolific both a selfie and a photo of your ID. Then once you've done that, you should be fully confirmed and set up and you can head back over to the studies section of your prolific account. Now the studies page is the main page on prolific and over here on the left hand side of the screen is where I would see any pending surveys that are available for me to take. Now there aren't any at the moment but they do come up frequently and there were just two available as I was getting set up to record this video and they will record, uh, appear over here. You don't need to refresh the page or anything to see new studies. They will just come in automatically. 
So you'll see them on the left hand side of your screen. If you see a survey over here and you click on it, then on the right hand side of the screen, more information about that survey is going to pop up, including how much you'll be paid for taking it, uh, how long it should take you to complete, how many slots are still available for people wanting to take the survey, and some additional information about what you'll be asked as part of the survey. And below all that, you're going to see a button that says Reserve. And when you click on the Reserve button, they will hold a space uh, in that survey opportunity for you for about 10 minutes. Now the reason they place a 10 minute hold on a survey when you reserve it is so that you can have time to fully read through any and all information that they provide to you about the survey. Sometimes they will give you a lot of detail so that just gives you some extra time to read through all of that before you decide if you actually want to follow through with completing a survey. Um, now one important thing that they will give you is information about what sort of device you need to be on in order to complete the survey. Now some surveys can only be completed on your computer while other surveys are, can also be completed on your mobile, on your phone, or your tablet device. So you do want to pay attention to that because if you complete a survey on an ineligible device you can be disqualified for that. Now, if you reserve a survey and then after reading through the information about it, you decide that you don't want to complete it, there is a button to return the survey to the survey pool so that someone else can take it. And I want to point out something important about that, that returning a survey does not negatively impact your account at all. So it's perfectly fine to reserve a survey quickly uh, and then if you don't want to take it, you can return it and it will not harm your account in any way. If you decide you do want to do the survey, there'll be a start survey button that you can click and then it will open up in, an, in a separate tab. Now you're going to want to leave this initial tab open for reasons that I'm going to explain in just a second. Now one of the first things that you're going to do when you first start a survey is often enter your uh, prolific ID. Your prolific ID will appear in this first tab so just click back over to the first tab and click the button to copy your prolific ID and then paste it into the page that has the survey on it. The prolific ID is very important because that's what allows you to get paid. That's what proves to prolific that you completed a survey and so that's how they associate that survey with your account. If you don't enter your prolific ID, then you can get delay your payment and sometimes you might not actually be paid. So it's very simple to do, but just make sure that you do it every time. Now there are times when it will automatically be pulled in and that's fine. If your prolific ID is automatically pulled in by the survey, then you don't need to enter it. But just be mindful that on a lot of surveys you are going to need to enter it man manually. Now once the survey, once you've finished everything on the survey and answered all of the questions, uh, you will also need to enter a completion code to show that you've finished everything. So you will be given that by the survey or it will be pulled in automatically. So that's another thing you, you need to watch for. Uh, if if a particular survey wants you to enter in the completion code manually then you're going to copy it from the survey page come back to this initial tab and paste it in manually. At the end of the survey Prolific is also going to ask you if everything went okay while you were completing it. So if you've had any kind of technical issues this is your chance to report that to Prolific so that they can resolve any problems so there's no problem with your payment and everything goes through smoothly. If you didn't have any issues then just click that everything went fine. There'll be an option for that and then if you do that and you've, had, you've already entered your completion code you're done. Your survey will now go into pending status and it will show up in the submissions section here which I'm now going to click on to show you a little more about that. 
Now as you see on my submission page, I've actually done 525 uh, prolific studies and I have earned 498 pounds. This is British pounds. They do pay out in British pounds, which is not a problem, even if you're not in the UK. I'll explain more about that in a minute. And then you, below that, you're also going to see all of the surveys that I've completed. Now you'll see how much I was paid, and over here you would see if a survey was approved or pending. And you also would see if the survey was returned. You see, uh, here I have a survey that I reserved, but I decided I did not want to do it, and I returned it. Now, as I said, that does not harm your account. Now, I uh, also want to point out that you do not earn the money for a completed survey until it is approved by the researcher. And they have up to 21 days to approve you. If they don't approve you, don't worry, you're still going to get your money because after a 21 day period, uh, Prolific automatically approves the surveys. So you don't have to worry about a researcher that never comes back and approves your survey. Eventually you will get your money if you complete a survey and submit it. But one of the key things I just want you to take away from this page is my earnings that I've gotten from this platform. Now this 498 pounds that actually translates with the current exchange rate into about $693 US because I'm in the US right now. So $693 is quite good for a survey site. It's much better than any other survey platforms that I've used. And also on this page, I want to point out these numbers here are the completion codes associated with each survey. So as I said, at the end of the survey, you're going to either need to enter in your completion code to show that you've finished or it will be pulled in automatically. So again, that is very important. Over here, you'll also see next to each survey, there's a little mail icon. And if I click on that, I can contact the researcher who posted this survey to tell them about any problems or concerns I might have about their study so I can make sure that I get my payment. Now, with regard to payment, as I said, you will be paid out via PayPal. Um, they pay out twice a week on Tuesdays and Fridays. And there is also an option for getting instant payment. Um, now, the payment will go out to the PayPal account that you have linked to your prolific account. So that's why I showed you how to link uh, your PayPal account to prolific uh, uh, earlier on in the video. Now, once you have had four uh, approved withdrawals from Prolific, and you need a minimum of five pounds to withdraw your money, but once you've had four approved withdrawals to the same PayPal account, then that PayPal account is eligible for instant payment. So your fifth withdrawal from Prolific and all your future withdrawals will be instant payment. You won't have to wait until Tuesday or Friday any longer to get paid. So that's a nice extra thing that this site offers. And I do want you to also be aware, if you do change your linked PayPal account, uh, that does reset the, uh, the account for the four required payouts before you get instant payment. So be mindful of that. If, if you change your, your PayPal account, you're going to need to have four successful payout, four successful withdrawals once again before you can get instant payment again. Now I did say if you stuck around to the end of the video, I would share with you some bonus tips to get the maximum amount of surveys from Prolific so you can make as much money with this opportunity as possible. So the main thing that you're going to do in order to do that is head over to this About You section. If I click on About You, you're going to see there's a bunch of different categories here that have different questions that Prolific wants you to answer uh, to tell them more about yourself. So if I click on one of these, you can see there are questions I can answer. And you're going to want to answer all of these questions 
for all of these profile all of these different profiles and have this progress bar up to 100%. Now, they do add additional questions to this about you section. So you're uh, on a regular basis. So you're going to want to check back here regularly. And I do have a few questions that I need to answer to fully fill out my my demographics profile, but you're going to want to keep this filled out to get the maximum amount of survey opportunities possible. And I do want to point out here that this has helped me to get some really specific surveys. Like at one point, I had several opportunities to do uh, surveys in virtual reality because inside one of these sections on technology, I answered a question and said that I had a VR device. So I was specifically offered the chance to do studies in VR that others wouldn't have gotten. So that just illustrates why it's important to keep this filled out. Also, I've had chances to do studies that require video and audio responses because I filled out that I have a webcam and microphone available to me. So just make sure that you check back to this page frequently and you'll get as many survey opportunities as possible with Prolific. So that should be most of the things that you need to know. Um, do let me know in the comments if you plan on trying this out and let me know what you thought of this video. And also, if you haven't done so already, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you'll be aware whenever I release new content for the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.